In the Middle East, a unique role will be given to the Frontline Fighter 15EX. An improved version of the 15 fighter aircraft is the 15EX, commonly referred to as the 15 Eagle II. The famous 15 Eagle, which has been in use since the 1970s, has been modernized with this model. Modern improvements and technologies are used in the 15EX to boost performance and prolong useful life. According to Enhanced Payload, the 15EX can now carry a greater variety of weaponry and equipment thanks to its improved internal and external cargo capacity. It has 12 weapon stations, enabling it to transport several types of weapons, including air-to-air -air missiles and air-to-ground weapons. Americans who are skilled at modifying the three fighters that are currently on the market, including the IF-16I, 15E-I, and 35A, which have grown to be the U.S. Air Force's mainstay and are extremely distinct from those produced any place else in the world. The Bu-57, however, was too heavy for the three fighters to handle. Should they choose to buy an 15EX, it will be altered to do so. Just the U.S. currently uses this aircraft. Then Bu-57 plays this job. This bomb weighed 14,000 kilograms or 30,000 pounds. Of course, it is now exclusively utilized in the US. In order to reach and eliminate weapons of mass enemy destruction located in well-protected installations, Boeing is developing a bomb. It was asserted that the Bu-57 alone caused an upstream explosion weighing 5,342 pounds to 1,423 kilograms. The bomb's properties indicate that penetration occurred 61 meters or 200 feet deep. Nonetheless, it is unclear what the Earth's surface is made of or what strata lie below the surface. If the soil structure is rocky, the bomb will still penetrate the ground to the same depth. According to some experts, mounting the Bu-57 on the 15EX is a near-impossible task. But, as some observers have pointed out, it is clear that the task impossible is part of the successful list of missions performed by the U.S. military. At this point, neither the military nor the White House's official administration can confirm whether the 15EX can transport the Bu-57. It's kept a secret. Most likely, the 15EX that the U.S. Air Force finally acquires will require aerial refueling. 18,000 pounds of fuel could be carried by the aircraft, leaving 30,000 pounds for weaponry. Yet, if the 15EX was limited to carrying only these 30,000-pound bombs, it would have no other weaponry. And this is wholly unwelcome. Other than that, of course, the ideal course of action is to accompany the 35 to the 15EX.